I am a winner. Yeah, say it with me. I am a winner. Say it again. I am a winner. See, there is no possibility of failure in God's kingdom. God has never failed. God has never lost. You're a winner today. I declare to you today, I am a winner, not because of who I am or what I am or what I possess, but because I'm a child of God. And Jesus has already won the victory. My friend, it doesn't matter what you're going through today. doesn't matter what you've encountered. You may be at the apex of a battle. You're still going to win. You may be duking it out with the devil, but I'm telling you, you're still going to win. The line has already been written. The chapter has been written. You come out a winner every time. But we've got to believe that. How serious are you about changing your life? When people want to reset their lives in some area, or they want to get a fresh start, they often think that um, the first thing they need to do uh, is to change their location. But it's not the very first thing that needs changing in your life. Uh, it might take a while to change your location, but you can start changing your mind right there where you're seated right now. To reset your life, to have this transformation, to get a fresh new start in any area, career, marriage, relationships, health, whatever. To reset your life, the first thing you need to work on is your mindset. What do you mean by that? How you see yourself, how you see your problems, and most important of all, how you see God. If you don't change your mindset first, a change in your location or a change in your scenery is not gonna help much. You know why? Because you could go to Tahiti, but you take you with you wherever you go. And so if the stress is in your brain and you go to Tahiti or anywhere else, uh, you're, you're taking the stress with you because the stress is between your ears. The right mindset says, I'm gonna look ahead because something good is gonna happen to me. Wrong mindset says, nothing's ever gonna change. Everything is gonna be just the way as it's always been. But you can change a wrong mindset tonight. You don't have to wait for a fee. You can think what you want to think. You don't have to think everything that falls in your head. That's why we have this book to tell us what's right and what's wrong. And so when the next time you have a thought that says it's too late for you, well, guess what? You can't find that in this book. Or the next time you have the thought, you're, you're no good. All you are is a big mess up. You, you never do anything right. Well, guess what? That's a lie. Because the Bible says that you're precious, you're special, you're created in his image, he's got a good plan for you. Negative thinking limits God and it limits all of our potential. What kind of life are we gonna have if we don't believe for good things? It's gonna be a life without joy. It's gonna be a sad life. It's gonna be a life full of all kinds of negative things because if you've got a negative mind and a negative mouth and a negative attitude, then your life is gonna be negative. Now being positive does not mean that we deny the existence of problems. It simply means that we believe that God is greater than the problem. Let me ask you, whatever kind of problem you have right now, do you believe that God is greater than your problem? Do you believe that God can do anything, that all things are possible with God? Let's just stay in faith and every day say, God, I believe that you're going to take care of this. You see, no matter who's against you, if God is for you, you're going to end up being a winner in life. And God is for you, not against you. And God is on your side. And God does have a good plan for your life. Isn't it, isn't it amazing how God gives us this thing called an imagination? but he gives us the free will to decide, are we gonna let that be controlled by fear or faith? 
God wants to do something new in your life. God wants to work in you in ways that he's never worked before. But if you're ever gonna become the new you, you're gonna have to change your brain. You're gonna have to think new thoughts. You have to think God thoughts. You know, your thoughts can take you somewhere where you'd really like to be, or they can keep you somewhere where you don't wanna be. They can take you where you'd like to be, and they can keep you where you don't wanna be. So set your mind where you want to go, not where you've been or where you are right now. Have a vision for your life. Have a vision for your children. Have a vision for your home. Have a vision for your ministry. And don't back down and give up on it. Wrong thinking causes us more problems than what we can even possibly imagine. The greatest definition I ever heard. I thought about this 10 million times when I wanted to quit along the way of a winner. This guy said almost everybody in America can stay excited for two or three months. A few people can stay excited for two or three years. But a winner will stay excited for 30 years or ever how long it takes to win. Another key to building this winning edge and this mental toughness is you've got to become a dreamer again. You know, I'm a Methodist, and we just changed ministers a few weeks ago, and our new minister came in, and, and the uh, church was just packed. And the first thing he said, he says, well, it looks like everybody came out to see the monkey perform. And the second, the second thing out of his mouth, he said, for a church to be a great church, you got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, you're dead. And boy, I sat up and I said, man, me and this guy are going to get along good because he knows what he's talking about. See, folks, I believe in order to win you got to feel good about yourself. Folks, there ain't nothing you can't do in America if you want to bad enough. Another key in building this winning edge is, folks, you got to stand for something. People in America, the good people in America, are fed up with here with these dadgum fence sitters and mealy mouths. My first heroes in this business were vice presidents at ITT making forty dollars or $50,000 a year. And I said, man, if I could ever get to be that kind of person, it'd be a dream come true. I couldn't want any more out of lie. A few years later, I earned the right to get promotions to that level and found so many of my heroes in business, their personal lives were a disaster. They were alcoholics and divorced three and four and five times. I just read an article by the author of, of In Search of Excellence, and I saw where he says, I can't find evidence of any successful business person in America that's not tunnel vision, that just doesn't give everything to business. folks." I, I, I said back then, 15 years ago, that if that's the price you've got to pay to win in business, it's not worth it. 15 years later, a multimillionaire. Folks, I can stand and preach to you that you can't separate your personal life from your business life. God's got to come first. Your family's got to come second. And business has got to come third. And I believe if you have a lousy spiritual life and a lousy personal life, long range, it's going to be devastating to your business. Another thing in building this, this winning attitude, another thing in building this winning attitude in business, I, you, you, you know, I see tall people make it big in business and short people, dumb people and smart people, fat people and skinny people, but if you cut open the winners in business, I see a heart of a champion, and all these people are competitors and they don't quit. I believe desire and will to win is everything. I don't know why I'm like I am, but my butt's always burning. There's always something to say, Art, Dad, gum it, you're supposed to go for it. Art, Dad, come it. You're supposed to be somebody. You're supposed to make a difference with your life. If you want to win in these United States, you got to be tough and you can't quit. See, folks, I want you to know almost everybody in America almost does enough to win. They almost get there. They almost are over the hump. They almost have it going. They almost in everything they do almost is a way of life to almost everybody in America. But the winners do it. What do they do? They do whatever it takes to get the job done. They do it and 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 do it until the job gets done. Type amen if you agree. Click here to watch this important message.